Hi friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today I'll be showing you how I make scrambled egg for my son. So I use cilantro, um, no, celery, onion, banana, tomatoes, and sardine because I just really want his egg to have like veggies in, in there. So I will go ahead and chop the vegetable, that's the celery. I will chop the banana, the, the tomato, the onion, and put them in a bowl. And I also like adding sardine to it so that it's like a real meal because he doesn't like his egg with anything, be it bread, or waffle so i try to make it heavy so that it's like a meal so after i chop everything i put in a bowl i will go ahead i'll go ahead and add in seasoning so i'm using black pepper white pepper powder garlic and powder ginger and i'm also using my no seasoning so i'll just go ahead and pour in just small sprinkles of everything in there yeah um because i was making this for my toddler and my daughter that is seven she doesn't like bananas in her eggs so that's why i put the bananas on the side so i went ahead seasoned the vegetable and then separated it i put hers on the side and then the one that i was going to make his brother her brother's food i added the bananas to it here i'm pouring the seasoning and uh, i'll just go ahead and mix and we'll separate house and put in another bowl and after that i will go ahead and add in the bananas to his so here i am adding the bananas after i do this i'll just go ahead and uh, crack the eggs that i will be making for him and just Add into it and when it's time to fry I fry it on the low heat so that it doesn't burn you know the banana and the egg makes it a little more sticky <laughs> oh yes and the pan so I'll just go ahead I usually make him two eggs so that's exactly what I'll also be doing today so I'll just put in the egg, stir, and uh, heat up the pan on the stove. Adding oil, just pour in the egg and uh, stir gently. Put it on low heat so that it doesn't burn. But I first of all want to mix the egg and the banana and the vegetables that I chopped so that well combined and also the seasoning that i added in yeah i love that salt <laughs> mm. so but just a teeny tiny little bit of salt i don't need a lot of salt and eggs so yeah, just so that it's able to enjoy it um one thing for sure about um, toddlers is that they are unpredictable some days you make the food and they eat everything and they'll eat so well but on some other days you make the food and they don't just want to give it a try so today I'm just crossing my fingers <laughs> he really likes scrambled eggs but Sometimes he eats it really well, sometimes he doesn't. 
well we'll just give it a try today so we'll put the pot the pan on the stove warm up the oil and uh, pour in the egg just like i'm doing right now and then i'll use a fork to stir gently so that it's not like it doesn't come out like in small small grains so i'm here trying to lower the heat so that it doesn't burn yeah so we'll just continue to stir until it's done this is the end product and just as we said today wasn't a good day it wasn't one of those amazing days i made the food and the little man won't have it he will not eat it at all and managed and ended up making him try two spoons and that was and that was it um motherhood is not easy sometimes you really put in the effort and uh, <laughs> the children tend to throw it in your face well it's just part of the journey and it is what it is <laughs> we enjoy the good days so we should en as well en enjoy the bad ones well thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking along this little man really got on my nerves this morning when he refused to eat but i will try to look out for something else for him to eat and it's a pleasure that i have you guys on my channel i'm happy that you get to watch what i post and what i do and uh, we'll see you in our next videos thank you so much for sticking along and uh, stay blessed stay healthy until next time, bye-bye.